just trying to spice the place up just a little bit. I'm trying to add a little bit more foliage to some places around here that look like they could uh, that they could actually use it. So I did a little bit of bone milling up there, and I've added another uh, humongous one of those trees over there, and just did a, like I said a little bit more bone milling around on the mountainside over there. But welcome back everybody to our Let's Play. This is Rifts. This is episode, I want to say this is episode 20. I might be losing my mind, but I don't think I am. And I actually got a comment a couple of videos back about, uh, you know, the video, the, like the intro seems, it, it kind of reflects a little bit more of how Dallas does his intros. And yes, this is exactly where I got that. Uh, from I I love that kind of intro it no one ever does anything like that And it's just so nice and calming to sit there and just you know, I don't know. I like that kind of intro not the whole Not this whole kind of intro. Hi, welcome back everybody. Welcome back to another episode of another episode. It's uh... <laughs> But that but that's just <laughs> But that's just me um, I just realized it's I can't really click on anywhere on this floor because all I have is blast furnaces and smithing tables around here By the way, this took up a lot of iron this drained a good portion of uh, my iron supply here Saying that it doesn't really seem like it did but it did I promise it did Today's episode I want to stay inside the house a little bit It's been a while since we worked on it and I've kind of had somewhat of an idea. I feel like this house is a bit too cramped if I'm being honest um, so what I was thinking was that this spot right here could actually be uh, I'm trying to do some quick thoughts off the top of my head Let, let's see how I have one two three oh that's not what I wanted to do this is just what I'm thinking about. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make this work per se and I don't know if I want the stairs to kind of start here and then kick a left. That sounds like something that would be kind of cool to do and doing so it may actually make this room well this room will be the same no matter what but I also was thinking that this room could be the one that kind of comes out into the little porch and then also have like some type of uh, weird looking walkway that'll come all the way down from here to meet up with the dock that we're going to eventually have uh, right out there. That's kind of what that thought process is with that. Let's just put this back here. So this is something that I'm kind of thinking about here. I ended up having to rip this room out because I couldn't make the stairs work. But on the flip side, I do feel like it opens up the house a little bit more. It doesn't feel so cramped. Um, and I'm also going to have to figure out something to do with this roof. And I'm also going to have to figure out something to do with like these little crevices right here. Because I honestly have no idea. Um, and then I ended up ripping this out because I thought I'd be able to place another staircase right here. But it doesn't seem to be the case. However, I think what I could do is I want to make sure I have a, a, a good amount of space between doing this. If we put one here. Okay, now that I've made a mess of everything in this house, um, I think I actually have something that I'm pretty happy with. So down here on the first floor, we'll have our map room. Uh, there's a door missing. But, uh, but yeah, we'll have the map room, which means I can actually probably kick this out and I can extend this over, maybe, possibly, I don't know. Um, I think actually we could bring this all the way out to at least here. Anyways, and we'll have our back door that goes up through there. And then we could come up here and I kicked out both of these two rooms right here. And then we have a nice little walkway to come up here to be, I don't know, whatever that's going to be. And then for here, we can actually fix ha fix having uh, the second room by just doing a little something like this. And there we go. Now we can still have the second room that we are wanting. And if I come out over here, right, could I just punch this? Oop, that's not what I wanted to do. 
and then we can have this little second room that kind of comes off over here so now I mean we've lost a couple rooms which to be honest with you I'm not that really too upset about because I don't even know what in the world to do with these rooms to begin with but I feel like the house is not so claustrophobic it's not so cluttered and cramped uh, if that makes any type of sense I just don't know what in the world to do with these little side bits right here and this little side bit right here that's gonna be something we're gonna have to try to figure out here so I guess my next day, a step that I need to do is to figure out how we're gonna do this okay I think I'm, I've had enough building in the house inside the house for one day I'm actually kind of um, struggling with this uh, with how how to get down here I had a couple of ideas and this one's kind of coming to a halt because I'm running into the outside right here all right so there's the outside and that kind of put the whole halt to this idea gosh darn it stupid block uh, to that now the other option that I could have done which is right down into there was to make a water elevator the problem is is that I need to be at 25 25 and this block stops at 28 which means I'd have to go two three blocks outside of this the other option is to try to not get blown up by uh, by that is to where is it which is to have this block right here be an elevator of some sort going all the way down oh there's there's where I, I had that block um or actually right here I guess that I guess that would work probably a bit better have it oops, not really like that have it right here tucked away in this corner and come out exactly right there now I don't know here's the problem I don't know if I'm gonna come out right here though I think if anything I want to go back by one block okay uh wow things in here are actually starting to oxidize um okay we'll let it we'll let it fly so check it out we got this thing built up I have this little design that I came up with myself this is all me uh, I didn't well I did I went to YouTube for a little bit but all of the block swapper designs I found I was not a big fan of so I'll show you what's going on back here which is all just cobblestone for the moment but this is not the typical block swapper in bedrock edition where you got like the three pistons and the you know block swapping thing this is kind of based off of the Java version of the quick block swapper you know the real simple one with just a torch and a redstone dust <laughs> Uh, of course this thing is not as elegant as that one but it works nonetheless and most important thing is that it works and we can just put these two back right here basically what happens there's also a pulse extender that's underneath this uh, pressure plate but we go through here boop and it goes up and then boop it goes back down okay so some progress has been made on a lot of stuff i've put some polished basalt up there we've got some uh deep slate and some uh, uh just regular basalt going on throughout here i've even replaced the backs of the furnace arrays looking things got some tough blocks in here there is a lot of there is a lot of deep slate i'm, I'm not gonna lie and at the moment it's kind of the only thing I could really think of maybe I'll put some oak stairs right there something to try to break that up but in here we've got the roof in um, it's kind of plain and I'm not too sure how exactly I feel about it at the moment I don't know what to do with this little spot over here but I did fill up this entire hole so that entire section is uh, is actually all filled up I just filled it up with all of the uh, the diorite blocks that I had Back here, we've got like a nice little, well, I wouldn't say nice, but we got a little simple nether wart farm going on. But I think at the moment, this place down here is done for the most part. I, I don't think, I, or at least I can't think of anything else to do with it. I don't know why that does that. And that's so annoying right there. I, I think, I, I, no, 
It's not that I skipped water blocks, because I filled it up with kelp, so I don't know what the problem is with that thing. I do have to say, I just ran in here. I grabbed some uh, glass uh, planes for the upstairs, and I'm really digging this new look down here on the floor. And yeah, you know what? I think I'm liking this a, a whole lot better here. Now, question is, am I going to like this? This is kind of a huge window, but I don't, I don't know if we able, if we are able to kind of break this up, or do I want this to be this big? I'm not 100% sure. This is one of those things we're gonna have to kind of look at from a distance. And the only place I can really think of is like either from these trees or out in the middle of the ocean. Oh gosh darn it. You know what? I do like it. I do like it. Um, I was actually hoping to get on one of these other trees over here, but you know what? This actually, uh, yeah, that'll work. That is doing the business right there. That looks great. It's nice to see that the house is finally starting to come along a little bit. Uh, maybe next episode we'll get that set in there. And in the one, episode 21, we'll probably start work on this area right here. Now this does come up pretty steep right here. So it's going to be, um, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be kind of hard working with some shapes like that. You know, I wonder how long this bed has been here. I have no clue. I want to say this is the original bed. I, I really do. And uh, this this map is locked, right? Yes, this is, uh, this is a, a, a locked map. So this thing will never move. That's pretty cool, actually. And, oh, and it's still got the original uh, pen going on back there. Anyways, I'm actually out of time for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I really enjoyed it. We got a lot of stuff done. Uh, the mountainside here had to be kind of terraformed a little bit, but that's okay. Um, the bees are out. They're getting honey. I've been slowly collecting it. I need to do a better job at collecting it. I want to get that hive over there populated, but the next episode we got a lot more stuff doing uh, to do around the house here or around the uh, around the base around the base I really should say a lot of stuff going on but I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please click the like button if you want to keep me motivated to make more of these please click to subscribe and it's all I have time for you guys today and I'm going to leave you with this nice little image right here